Itamar ben Gvir, thank you for joining us on I-24 News. Uh, all the polls show that your Otsma Yehudit party, Jewish power party, running together with the religious Zionism party, would make significant gains in the next election, maybe as many as five seats. Maybe the only thing that could prevent that is your disagreements with Betzalel El Smotrich about how to combine your parties. Reports are that it's down to arguments about who gets the seventh spot in your election list. What can you tell us with, about where this stands? Well, first of all, uh, we have disputes. Uh, but we're not disputes. We have controversies, let's say. Uh, some people want more a sectorial kind of uh, party. I want a party that addresses all of Israel. We want to go to secular, to religious, Haredi, soldiers, women, to the entire state of Israel. North, south, and this way we can win. I hope we will solve these controversies, although I must say one thing. Uh, there is a hesitation because at the end of the day we see that uh, the two parties separately can also get a lot of seats and maybe we can bring about a better victory. Well, the poll shows something else. If you're the head of that combined list, it'll get more seats. Shouldn't the person who could bring in the most seats be the head of an election list? Yes, well, the truth be, many people say to me, Itamar, you should be the leader, you should lead the party, and I will say, the first here is not the story. I come here without an ego. I want to win. I want the people of Israel to win. So Bezalel, my friend, if he wants to be first, no problem. What's important is that the list will be egalitarian to represent the entire public in Israel. We shall do so, and then we can uh, win over the left. You know, the issue is that the government with the Muslim brothers, uh, they, uh, if you walk in the street here in Yafo, in Jaffa, soldiers have to go in uniform because they get beaten. Something is bad in the state of Israel. I want to save the state of Israel. You keep saying represent the entire state of Israel. Does that include Israel's 20 percent uh, non-Jewish Arab population? Of course, what question? The Arabs who live in the state of Israel are citizens, and uh, most of them who are loyal, they want to live here and work here, there's no problem whatsoever. I have a problem with uh, those who throw stones, who are Molotov cocktails, those who are in Jaffa, Acre, Haifa, they shout, Palestine, Palestine, this is, well, Palestine is not here, this is the state of Israel. But Mr. ben -Vir, uh, Mansour Abbas condemned terror attacks, said he accepts Israel as a Jewish state, says he does not rule out sitting with you, Itamar ben Gvir, in a government. Uh, if you don't accept him on those bases, what kind of Arab leader or Arab party would you be willing to accept? When in one of the nights in the Knesset we have a discussion with Mansour Abbas, I said, come on, condemn a murder of soldiers, condemn a Molotov cocktails on soldiers. And he didn't. You know why? Because uh, he does condemn uh, the murder of citizens, but uh, soldiers is something else. Struggle against the occupation. What are we talking about? Muslim brothers, they're outlaws. These people in the state of uh, in the government of Israel we're there. Uh, these people are terrorist supporters. These people support the fact that any Jew who lives here will live under some sort of an Islamic regime. There are danger and enemy, so I don't sit with Basur Abbas. So uh, what, if Benjamin Netanyahu can form a government, he will need the support of your party or your list. What will be your baseline demands? What will be your red lines? And what position do you see for yourself in that government? I can tell you, I can give you all sorts of ideas and wishes that uh, with the help of God we need. But of course it depends on the size. Are we five, uh, ten seats or fifteen? Who knows? But I think that one of the most important thing is uh, the uh, law that uh, the soldiers will not get beaten or uh, they have to have be immune from trials in the court. Um, if there is a capital 
capital law in the United States, why not in Israel? Capital uh, sentence for terrorists who murder babies um, finishes the whole study. They uh, are doomed to death. What's good for America is good for Israel. I want to give uh, weapons to the citizens that they can defend themselves. The government uh, took away many of the weapons and the pistols. I want people in the south and the north. I want to give uh, free uh, land to release the soldiers in the Negev, in the Galilee, where Jews are afraid to walk around. I want to save the state of Israel. I want to act for the strengthening of the state. 2,000 years of exile, we're here. We want a safe Jewish state, a good one. Uh, let me ask you, to get back to the election for a moment, uh, Ayelet Shaket has founded a, a new party, uh, Zionist spirit, uh, it even sounds a little like uh, religious Zionism. Uh, that is seen as your competition uh, for, for at least for a few, possibly a few seats. Uh, how do you assess that? Ayelet Shaked is not exactly my competition. She competes for uh, votes from the left, maybe, but I unfortunately don't think that Ayelet Shalit proved herself that she's in the right wing cluster. This is very painful. I'm very sorry about it. I just want to bring votes from the south, from the periphery. I want to be votes of the people of Israel. You know that today there's a majority of the state of Israel who are uh, supporting the right, and even the American administration. And I really appreciate and respect them. They have to know that the people in Israel uh, are building in Judea and Samaria. They want to have governments that people we walk around safely and respectfully. And I hope that with the help of God, we will have a real right-wing government and to strengthen the connection with all sorts of administrations in the world, America, Europe. This is our model. The state of Israel is ours. This country is ours. We have to be proud of it. It's the land of the Bible. I want to ask you, you have supported Benjamin Netanyahu for a prime minister. Uh, but if the opportunity arises for Netanyahu to form a government with other parties, for example, with Benny Gantz, do you trust him that he will bring you into the government? Do you think he, uh, it's a possibility he could sacrifice perhaps you, perhaps Betzel El Smotrich, uh, if it, that's what it would take for him to form a government? I uh, really hope, uh, I know that in the Knesset, you know, Netanyahu and I, we, we cooperated throughout the year. We are in the opposition to it together. I hope he saw and understood that not just the capabilities, but the ideology and the real the truth that we abide by. Me and Smutrich, I have to tell you what's very important to be big. If we're big, nobody can take us out. If we will be small, then they can do that. That's a nice answer, but I asked you if you trust Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, can you give me an answer on that? I uh, don't uh, test people. You know, I don't judge people. I think he was an excellent uh, prime minister, better than Bennett and Shaked and Lapid. Uh, I had controversies when I don't, you know, don't get me wrong. I had reservations about the governance in the Negev and uh, the helplessness vis-a-vis -vis the courts. But nevertheless, I think he's a much better prime minister than Bennett, much better than Lapid. So if the question is if I think that Netanyahu can be a good prime minister, Definitely yes. If the question is whether I trust him, uh, I want to be there next to him so that there will be a real right wing government. All right. The Mar Ben Gvir, leader of the Otsma Yudit party, the Jewish Power Party, thank you for joining us on I 24 News.